Hi, I'm Denisha Francis and I do artistic gymnastics and you're watching Sky Guide. At the age of five, me, my brother and my sister were taken along to just like an after-school club by my mum just to burn some energy off. I just loved gymnastics and saw the older girls doing the backflips and the other moves and I just wanted to be able to do everything and I would go back home and try it all in my living room. Two years later, I'd been scouted by a different club and offered a scholarship, which was the club I'm at now, Heathrow. And so for about two years, I was training up and down at Lillishaw, the National Sports Centre, because I was in a young development squad there. And um, that was a lot of travelling for my mum and she finally decided after a lot of begging and pleading from me to look at the boarding school in Heathrow and then that was when I made that decision to move away to London at the age of nine. I feel like going to Heathrow was definitely the best decision and for me as a person I fit, fit in at the gym really well, like there's a really nice atmosphere, it's always relaxed and every day you're guaranteed to have a laugh, me and all the girls are really good friends. As a gymnast you have to be athletic, so fast and strong, but you also need to be elegant and flexible. So there's so many different things in there that as a gymnast you need to have a lot of all of them. The performance element of it has gotten a bit more important over the last four years, so they can take off a lot of marks for that now. But there's also a lot of other things such as wobbling, stepping or falling that they can take marks off for as well. I think the judges are looking for um, your character to come through, especially on floor where you've got your dance. And um, in the competition that I'm doing this weekend, the British Championships, everyone gets a chance to wear their own leotard and a lot of us older ones have like designed them and stuff. So um, they like to look for that, especially these judges have seen us all before. So each time they want you to bring something different. And that's what I aim to do, especially on floor. I think that's the best one to show your personality. I just came back from the Europeans where um, we came fourth as a team, which was a really good achievement as we were quite a young team. I was the second oldest, which I'm not used to. I'm normally one of the younger ones, but we didn't have some of our key members such as Beth Fennel, so everyone was really happy with how we did. But all the trips I've been on, we always have a good time, and that's what I love about gymnastics and just being an elite athlete, being able to travel. I've had so many experiences that people my age won't, maybe won't ever get to have. My favourite trip ever was Tokyo last year at the World Championships where that's where we qualified our team for the Olympics so the competition wasn't only a great achievement and just the best feeling ever when we found out we'd qualified a team but also the whole trip was just really memorable and I really liked Tokyo as a place. I'm a big sushi fan so that was nice. <laughs> at the Europeans we beat Italy in the qualifications but then they beat us in the finals but um, with Beth back and stuff like that that would be a goal that we could definitely achieve so to beat Italy would be great and um, we're always in high competition with Romania, so if we were beating them, then we'd even have a chance of being top four then. And um, obviously the big contenders are America and Russia. Not sure they're quite in our grasp, but we'll obviously just go out there and try our best. I can remember watching bits of it in 2000, but I more remember 2004 and 2008. And 2008, I remember watching my close friend who trained at Heathrow Gym with me, Becky Wing, doing it. And our coach was also commentating. And so um, he was really nervous and he couldn't actually speak during her routine. But I just remember that watching her and we were all just like gripping onto each other, hoping that she could do it. And that just made it seem a bit more real to me, seeing my close friend competing at the Olympics. And I'd say that's my most fondest memory, as it's quite close to home.